Lesson 98, we're going to learn how to apply line numbering to a document. So it's important that you review the Word Manual 98D and complete the practice exercise to learn how to do this. Then we will work on Report 9872, which is an affidavit of possession. An affidavit is a written statement made under oath. Because of its importance, this type of document must be submitted error-free in its correct format. An affidavit is a court document. Now I should remind you that all paragraphs are indented one inch, hyphenation is not turned on, and line numbers are assigned to every line, even to blank lines. Remember, with this note over here, important, to ensure accurate scoring of keystroking, you must set all tabs at the start of this job. So let's do that. Let's start work. And the first thing we do is clear and set our tabs. So go to the Paragraph dialog box launcher. And when that opens, move to Tabs in the lower left corner. Click Clear All and you will see tab stops to be cleared is all. Then where you see the insertion point blinking, we're going to type one. Be sure that it is left tab, click set. Type 3.25, be sure it is a left tab, click set. See those are entered in the box here. Next we type 6.5, but this time it's important to click right click Set, and then OK. And you will see these tabs correctly entered on your ruler. The left at 1 inch, left at 3 and a quarter inch, and the right tab set at 6 and a half inch. Next we're going to follow the procedure in the Word Manual for adding line numbering. Remember this is not the same as a numbered list and our line numbers will vary from those shown in the text, but it will be consistent with what you see demonstrated in the video here. We go to the Page Layout tab and the Page Setup group. We click the Line Numbers button. If you click Line Numbering Options, you will get the dialog box that you saw in your Word Manual on page 158. Move to the Layout tab, click Line Numbers, Add Line Numbering. Be sure that your settings are as indicated here. Click OK and OK. On our first line, we're going to center align it, turn on Caps Lock, and type Affidavit of Possession. Press Enter two times, return to Left Alignment, and type State of South Carolina, press Enter two times, County of Charleston, press Enter two times, turn off Caps Lock, and press Tab one time to type this first line indented at one inch. After this first line, press Enter two times, and on line nine, we're going to begin a series of paragraphs with very detailed and specific information including numbers and punctuation that needs to be exact. When your textbook changes to the next page from 400 to 401, that does not mean that you start a new page in your affidavit. You just continue typing. After completing the last paragraph, Act of the State of South Carolina, you should be on line 30 and ready for the date line. So press Enter two times, press Tab once, capitalize dated, then we have a day of the month and we need five underscores for that. One, two, three, four, five, space, press Enter two times, and we're ready for some signature lines. Press tab twice to move to the three and a quarter inch tab. And this is an example of where we're going to insert underscores all the way to the margin. I recommend that you do that by overshooting. So here we go. 
as soon as we jump to the next line, we're going to backspace once, and there is our line completely underscored to the margin. Press Enter once, press Tab twice, type James Cates, then press Tab, and we'll be using our right tab here to type Attorney at Law. Press Enter twice, Tab once, here we have another here we have another line for the date one two three four five space press enter twice now here's where we are varying from the textbook we you should be on line 39 but we're typing what the textbook shows as line 44 press tab twice we need another signature line press enter once tab twice, tab once more to the right margin, press enter once, tab twice, press enter once, tab twice, and when you finish typing that date, 2015, do not enter any more keystrokes. We don't want any blank numbered lines at the end of the document. Okay, give it a look over. Having set the tabs at the beginning, it is very easy to follow the procedures and type the affidavit in the correct format. When I pasted in the paragraphs in this document, I did not notice that on line 9, I did not have the first tab. So in the previous section of the video, it should have looked like this in line 9. Otherwise, the document is correct as demonstrated. So you should save it, submit it to GDP for scoring, and you'll be ready to move on to the next assignment. Mm -hmm.